It's time for Penguin Speaks. Well, I'm not going to report after any more Penguins games this year because the Penguins won the Stanley Cup. They beat the National Predators tonight 2 to nothing, in game number six, and they own the Cup. For the second consecutive year, the Penguins are your National Hockey League world champions. It was a nail-biter tonight. Uh, the Predators got off to an early start. They scored the first goal, but it was called back because the referee lost sight of the puck, and he's it, by their own rules, they have to blow the whistle. If they can't see where the puck is, they have to blow the whistle. It was a little bit premature. I believe it should have been a good goal. And the outcome may not have been the same if you think about it because if that goal had counted, then Pittsburgh score would have been 1-1. One one. They wouldn't have pulled their goalie. So that's what led to the second goal. So it may have gone into overtime tonight. It probably should have. But the referees made the call. You have to deal with it. You know, they were on the road in uh, Nashville that, from what I saw tonight, are the most uh, unsportsmanlike fans I think I've seen all season. It should be a penalty throwing a catfish onto the ice. It shouldn't be a tradition. It should be a penalty. It's a delay of game. If you're going to blow a whistle on an icing, which is technically a delay of game, blow the whistle when the fans are throwing freaking catfish on the ice. shouldn't be allowed at all. All that aside, the season is over. The Penguins are your national champs. But it doesn't matter. I'm in a good mood. We're having our celebratory uh, Big Daddy here. And what a season it was. Through all the injuries, through all the unexpected people not playing, to everybody. Everybody had something to do with tonight's game. Yes, Marc-Andre Fleury didn't play the last two series. However... He won the first two for him. So it's kind of a situation where they wouldn't have been where they were if it wasn't for him. Murray came in after being out for a while, and he played phenomenal. Yeah, he led a lot of goals up in a couple of games, but he also stopped a lot of goals, and they were unbelievable goals at that. So let me rephrase it, unbelievable saves. But anyway, the season is over. They are their champs. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do until September when the Steelers start playing again. It's going to be a long summer. Can't root for the Pirates because, well, I want to, and I probably should, but I just can't find myself to watch baseball anymore. I've totally lost interest in the game. You know, if they get into the playoffs or something like that, you know, come October, September, October, I might watch them. It's just not something I'm going to designate my time for. So where do we go from here? Well, the Cup's going to come home to Pittsburgh, and I'm sure there's going to be a huge party going on down there. Apparently, the uh, Pittsburgh Paints Arena was sold out for people watching the game on the big screens. And I'm sure it was probably filled up outside as well, too. Well, I never saw a uh, video of that, a scene of that, because the, obviously the announcers and everything were uh, hoping that the Predators won. But I would like to have been there tonight. It would have been just an atmosphere that you can't imagine taking place in. So it, it would have been really fun. So for this video, I'm going to leave you with this. The Penguins are... The National Hot League. I'm going to leave you with this. The Penguins are the 2017 National Hockey League Stanley Cup winners. This is Penguin Speaks. Be somebody important. Be yourself. Peace out. <laughs>